Hey yo, what up, SGN family? I'm Scholar Gamer Nerd, and today I want to talk to you all about workplace loyalty, particularly as it relates to millennials and Gen Zers. So one of the big problems that I'm noticing that is rising as we enter the 2020s is that companies and organizations demand that their employees demonstrate loyalty on and off the clock, right? They want your mind, heart, soul, skill, spirit. They want everything. And in theory, this sounds good, but the problem with this is that the up and coming generation doesn't necessarily have the same exact values as Gen X or Gen uh, or the boomer generation, right? Those are people who are in their 40s, 50s and 60s. Now, let me acknowledge that that's my parents and grandparents age group. So I don't want to disparage them. Essentially, what I'm trying to say is that they are essentially in positions of, of power right now what we call middle and upper management so they want to run things their companies their organizations the way that they grew up but the problems that they faced are much different problems than we are facing today both socially and technologically okay so what i want you to understand whether you are on the younger side of this conversation right uh gen z member or a millennial or whether you're on the older side a gen xer or a boomer is that the up-and-coming worker the up-and-coming creative and artist is not going to be loyal to you if you are not loyal to them first what does that mean that means that yes we're willing to work for you we're willing to join your company we're willing to do that internship but you got to show us that you are also interested in us as human beings in our professional development what are you doing to help me improve in my career and my own hustles okay because i don't i don't know why gen xers and boomers don't see this coming but it seems like their companies and organizations and brands are going to experience a lot of problems and turmoil in the next 10 to 20 years if they don't adjust their values if they don't adjust the way they treat the younger workers college is getting overpriced housing is really expensive and so now millennials and gen zers are really forced to think about what type of hustle what type of job they want to do and so if you want our loyalty you're gonna have to show us that you're also interested in our future as well right so I dropped a gem earlier today and on my Instagram and I said loyalty is the thin line between love and lethargy it's a thin line because love although it's a deep feeling that we can have it's also a reality that we don't often live what is the opposite lethargy apathy indifference so if you want to build a successful company that experience experiences long-term growth you gotta explicitly show your Millennials and your Gen Zers that you care about them and their future that you're gonna help them grow that you are going to help them achieve their long-term goals otherwise they're not gonna give you their loyalty hate to break it down but it's the true it's facts so I want to wrap it up by saying that loyalty is a two-way street whether you're on the employee side of things or, or on the employer side of things, loyalty is a two-way street. I hope someone out there feels this message and gets empowered by it. It's okay to ask someone's loyalty. Just make sure you give them yours in return. That's all I have for you today. Don't forget to be a scholar first, gamer second, and a nerd always. Peace.